Welcome, Tauruses. I want to say happy birthday to the people who are having birthday from the 10th until the 16th. So whoever is having birthday from the 10th until the 16th, happy birthdays. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, last week, um, we missed you guys, but it was the energy of the month. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, happy birthday. Let's see what is happening. So, um, this energy of, for you guys in this year, it's about a cycle is going to be over. A whole lot of money is going to be coming back at you. And some sort of a protection is going to be um, coming up for some of you. Now, I see that if you men are married to an area, a, a Sagittarian woman, they are going to be recognizing what this Sagittarian woman together with some of you men have done. The truth is going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing a lot of you men, especially men or turning up in the readings. A lot of you men are turning up in the readings and you, you, you need to be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring because a lot of you men are ending up and turning up in the reading. So this year for a lot of you is that some sort of information is going to be coming out and in a cycle. There's no success that is going to be coming in for a Sagittarian woman. A corporation institution recognize who this person is. And I see um, this person is trying to find inner strength to deal with a Virgo man because it's as if a Virgo man and a Capricorn man, um, there is some sort of a problem that a lot of you who are married to Virgo or Capricorn, some of you who are married to Virgo men could be having some sort of a divorce. Some of you who married to Capricorn men could be having some sort of a divorce also. So be aware of this. So we're recognizing and we're seeing exactly what is happening, what is transpiring. I see truths are going to be all being revealed. All right. So the center is about, for a lot of you, money. A whole lot of money is going to be returning to a lot of you. People are going to be recognizing and finding out the truth. And a whole lot of money will be returning to a lot of you. All right. Let's look at the first um, people that was born on the tent. If you were born on the tent, uh, the tent of uh, um, May, you are dealing with some sort of a new start is going to be coming in for a lot of you who were born on the 10th of May. And this new start is going to be affecting uh, young men. Um, let's say um, people are now recognizing and seeing uh, who a young man is, what a young man have done. New starts are coming up for young men, especially young men are going to be like getting some sort of unexpected new start that they were not expecting. And they're going to be now seeing the light. It's as if a lot of young people are now um, the blindfolds that was there. A lot of young men are blindfolded to a situation, okay? They want to move forward, but they're blindfolded to a situation. But a lot of young women and older people, there's some sort of a new start is going to be transpiring. But a young man is blindfolded to a situation and is not seeing exactly what is transpiring. So um, this... Um, this year for you young men, you got to be opening up your eyes, removing the blindfold, understanding what is happening, understanding what is transpiring, being aware, being connected, understanding what to do, where to go, what is happening. And it's about freeing yourself from whatever bondages that was holding a lot of you back and understanding um, you know, what it is to make changes in your world. Then we are looking at the people who were born. And for you guys, you have zero omega. Some sort of a help tool is uh, going to be duality where a lot of you are going to be seen beyond the illusion. Then we are looking at the people who were born on the 11th. You have the energy of justice. So people who were on the born on the 11th, 
you're going to be coming down on a cancer woman. Justice is going to be really coming down on a cancer woman because they're going to be recognizing something about a cancer. They're going to be finding out something about a cancer and recognizing who a cancer woman is. So some sort of information is going to be coming out. And I see they're going to be lifting the swords of truth. So whoever you are that is born on the 11th, you're really using justice, the sword of truth in this year to balance out anything that is going on. And if a lot of you or divorcing or removing yourself from a cancer person, they're going to be recognizing who is this cancer person and how this cancer person have affected your life. Is it your mother? Is it your wife? Who is this person? How does this person connect with you? And how do you see this person in your life? Who is this person? So this is going to be a very, very positive, positive energies because people are now going to be recognizing and understanding what is going on in your world. Emotionally, a lot of you are going to be turning up upside down in order to find yourself and balancing out any emotional issues that a lot of you are going to be dealing with and has been dealing with and has been affecting you. You're going to be turning up all those emotions and letting them out. And this is going to be a very, very good year. So you have a number 11 and you have two. So there's a whole lot of duality. There's going to be... um. People who wanted to have a child, couldn't have a child, that is going to be coming out. People who are going to be breaking up relationships, ending marriages, ending relationship. Because you found your the light and you find the inner truth and the light and you're going to be standing your ground, all right? So you're going to be having this communicative air energy and standing your ground and taking back your powers from people. All right, we're looking at people who were born on the 12th of May. People who were born on the 12th of May is dealing with a corporation institution. And this is uh, you Taurus people who were born on the 12th of May is going to be using this hurt energy. And with this hurt energy, you're going to be in the emperor. You're going to be, especially business people, a lot of you business people are going to be starting um, businesses. But a lot of you men or going to be ending relationships with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra people, okay? You're going to be ending friendship or relationship or marriage with Aquarian, Gemini, uh, Libran, or Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian because they are going to be now recognizing who these people are and what was happening and what these people were trying to do. And they're going to be now recognizing some sort of unsavorable play that was happening and transpiring. And a lot of people are now going to be recognizing. And I see a lot of people are using the earth energy of uh, your energy because the energy of the air event is about alterian, alterian figure. So you are going to be standing up as an alterian figure and it's going to be balancing out issues and situation and recognizing that you have the power and you're going to be using the power in the correct ways. So a lot of you men who are married to Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra people, you're just going to get divorced or separate from these people for whatever reason. You're going to be recognizing that these people do not have the same connection that you're looking for and you're going to be ending this marriage and relationship. Then we are going and we're looking Um, you are going to be dealing with the number five and the number five is about using your authority in order to bring changes in. All right. Then we're looking at the people who were born on the 13th um, of May and you have a powerful energy. You have the energy of the world. So a lot of you who were dealing with financial issues, problems, divorce, uh, paying out money, money that was owed to you, it's all coming in back, okay? So if you notice, it's opening up to receive a whole lot of money and um, people are now going to be recognizing that you stand your ground, you open up to receive all this money and all that that was in, you know, in your reach. Um, money is not going to be a problem. You have twice nine, 99. A cycle is now going to be over. 
So whoever is born on the 13th of May, this year is when a cycle is going to be over. There was problems. There was issues. There was a whole lot of problems that was created and people are now going to be recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring. And um, a lot of people are now going to be recognizing how um, people took advantage of some sort of a situation and people are now going to be standing their grounds and showing up or a disposition what was happening and transpiring. And, you know, a lot of you expect a whole lot of money to come back, but you need to protect yourself from an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran and a Taurus man. You need to protect yourself from this person however this person is and I see truth is going to be revealed so that is powerful so it is um you end in cycles around you cycles with uh, um Aquarian Gemini or Libra people who is your wife girlfriend or sweetheart um cancers I see a lot of information came out about cancers and that sort of a thing and ending the cycle of this negative, negative flow that was transpiring and bringing back a lifeline, positivity in your world and also money. So it's about you just cutting back, ending, ending, ending and uh, overcoming what has been happening and transpiring. OK, then we see the energy of strength. So you guys have the world, which is 12, 21 and twice nine. OK. Then we look at the energy as the energy of number 14, the 14th of May, in a strength. A lot of you, the 14th of May, in a strength, dealing with some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation, um, trying to endure a situation that has to do with it. Uh, you men are really going to be trying to endure some sort of a situation. You men... 50 years and older are going to be having some sort of a problem in this year. Not all of you, but some of you. It depends on what is in your birth chart. But the energy, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarian and trying to endure some sort of an unpleasant situation of a Sagittarian and what a Sagittarian has done. And I see the Sagittarian is going to be recognized that there is no success for this person because the Sagittarian has took a lot of money and tried to pull down and uh, take from other people. And they're going to be recognizing the foul play of a Sagittarian. And I see no success is going to be coming up for the Sagittarian because they're going to be recognizing who the Sagittarian is and what is transpiring. So, um, you know, you're enduring a situation. A lot of you men who are married to a Sagittarian is going to be having it very, very hard and trying to endure a situation. And people are going to be now recognizing what exactly was happening and transpiring. Success is not going to be one of those pleasurable moments for you men because of some sort of instability in your world, especially businessmen or older men. Um, so be aware of that. So we have the energy of the strength that is number eight and three, eight, three and one, basically eight, three and one materialistic wise and a whole lot of issues like a whole lot of issue. But materialistic wise, a lot of you are going to be very um, substantially good because money is going to be. Um, aligning some of you, okay, because it's your reading and it's as if the money energy is turning up for you guys and meaning that a lot of you will receive money returning to you and they're going to be understanding and recognizing this. So, so this is going to be absolutely wonderful, absolutely positive. Then um, we look at the people who were born on the 15th and this is an energy of you going within. It is an energy of you going within, um, stepping away from the spotlight, going within and looking for answers. OK, so a lot of you Tauruses are not going to be um, getting your answers from outside. You're going to be calling up on your eye yourself. And a lot of you Tauruses, this is the year where you're going to be stepping away from all spotlight, stepping away from all um, you know, uh, communication in order to get uh, divine guided information for yourself where, um, you know, you're not going to be look, listening to the people who are coming in and telling you this and that. 
because you're going to be recognizing that you need to find your inner strength and inner self to find the answers. So a lot of you who were born under 15 is going to be opening up to, to find out uh, what is happening, opening up to understand who you are, opening up to be aware and alert uh, in order to um, balance out yourself in a very, very positive way. And a lot of you are going to be stepping back. It's not about success. It's about you um, reconnecting with your soul, reconnecting with yourself. It's about the reconnection of who you are and trying to um, vitalize your own energy and feed your own soul. So it's going to be a really powerful year for you guys. It's not too late to ask for a Taurus reading. Um, we can still do your birthday reading, so it's not too late. So you have the energy of the hangman. Number four, money is not going to be a problem. And a lot of you, you're going to be recognizing that if you start a business, it's as if some of you are going to be going within and coming up with some brilliant ideas of doing business that is going to be bringing you a lot of financial stability. Okay. And this is going to be God. Then we recognize the people who were, so you guys have, uh, 12, which is three and four and eight. So this is what I'm saying. Infinity, uh, information, uh, wisdom and abundance, but also financial status. Okay. Cause you're open up for the money. You're not holding on on the money. You're open up to uh, access, uh, access money. Then we are looking at the energy of the empress and the energy of the empress has to do with um, a lot of you women are going to be materialistic stable. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you women are definitely going to be very, very, very materialistic stable because you're going to be creating your whole wealth. Um, it's as if a lot of you women are going to be um, really standing strong and focusing and breathing um, to understand your powers of who you are. So I see that this is just going to be an absolutely wonderful time. Um, uh, not only for some people, but for a lot of people, because uh, um, what we are recognizing is that people are basically understanding um, themselves. And when we understand ourselves, we can better able to deal with um the things that comes up in our lives and i think that that is going to be like one of the most beautiful things uh, um that a lot of you could hope for is about understanding who you are as a, a true spiritual being and this is going to be good a lot of you are really really going to be making a lot of money there is no question people are going to be knowing people are going to be understanding um, people basically is going to be um, reacting at recognizing that, oh my God, uh, you know, I have overcome um, a whole lot in my life and here I am is going to be um, trying to stand and uh, help myself out. And this is going to be good. So it is the energy of uh, the magician um brings out um a whole lot of new um uh, abilities in our worlds and that's how we get to understand who we are and to create new awareness of who we are so this is going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful i do um love this for you guys i really recognize that a lot of you and this year is going to be finding yourself um, reconnecting and building on your financial stability. And this is going to be good. A lot of you, they're going to be recognizing what an Aries, Vera, Sagittarian man have done. A lot of you, if you're in a relationship with this man, you're going to be ending some sort of a connection with this man. A lot of you are going to be turning your back, leaving this person, um, divorcing this person, and then some sort of a connection with this person. 
a lot of you are going to be standing your grounds again this person and it's going to be showing up the disaster of what this person have created so i see a lot of you a taurus burger capricorn man might have to pay you women a whole lot maybe you're divorcing this man and he has to pay uh, you guys a whole lot so i do love you guys <laughs> I do love you and I want to say namaste until next time. Please remember to like, share these videos. It's your birthday. It is going to be a year where a lot of you are going to be financially stable and a year where a lot of your money is going to be returning to you. I gotta go. Please like, share these videos. Namaste until next time.